I remember one time Brian Bedford, who loved to tease me, he came back. I, I was doing All's Well That Ends Well, and, and, and I was doing it with Susan Wright. And Susan Wright, may she rest, had, she, you know, the, the director, Peter Dews from Great Britain, wanted her to have a pretty voice and wanted her to be pretty. And she just basically went, This is Susan Wright. I don't do pretty. This is who you get. And I was sort of trying to be somewhere in between. And um, I remember, anyway, in the previews, um, Brian came back and he said, Good luck out there. I'm watching you. And he did all these, a list of, a litany of great actresses, which was all a lie, because they didn't all play Adriana and all's well. He said, he said, I've seen Ellen Terry's Adriana. I've seen Vanessa Redgrave's Adriana. I've seen Maggie Smith's Adriana. And now I'm going to see your Adriana. Oh no, he was completely teasing me, knowing that he just knew me. He just knew that I was trying to be Stratfordian. And he thought it was funny. And did you take that with affection? With no, front, it completely with... panicked me. <laughs> completely panicked me. But but anyway, that was my Stratford Smith. And then, so and how then, did you deal with that? Right, you know, there's a company I acted trying to badly. drive you to. There's, there's a Fiona trying to deal with the brand. I, I acted badly. Um, um, what you go to a panic position and do uh, panic uh, acting? I I did probably sort of, you know, I always have vision of, of bad acting at Stratford is. Um, you're sort of doing the, someone's in a rowboat in the middle of the Atlantic and they're saying, this is, this is the Stratford Festival because I'm somewhere, I'm in the middle of the Atlantic between Canada and Britain and, and trying to imitate British culture from 30 years ago that the Brits aren't doing anymore. But that was, I'm sorry to say, it was, it was sort of Stratford in... When, when, when was that? This the is 70s? David Williams. This is no, it wasn't. Was it? No, it was actually. Hirsch? It was Hirsch. Hirsch trying to shake it all up, and I don't think Hirsch was very impressed with me. Um, Hirsch, I just You're such he, a positive attitude. What? Oh, Hirsch. God bless. I mean, I no, think about he, yourself. Oh yeah, no. Being I think I just remember funny things he said, like, "This is not Canada's Wonderland that I am running here," and I don't know quite what he meant, but I think he was trying to say, "I'm trying to bring art here," uh, and he wanted to shake things up. But he, he talk about what well, we will probably discuss cruelty in the theater and how various artists have dealt with their inner demons and. And, and, and whether that was constructive or not constructive for certain artists. Um, there are many of us, I, ha I have probably visited, I am probably guilty myself in some respects of, 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 you know, temper and all that. That's a whole other subject, isn't it, Robert? But anyway, I do want to say about Stratford, there was a good part of Stratford. You have a very fast mind. I worked with Kristen Linkletter. Oh. I worked in the conservatory. And Kristen Linkletter transformed my approach to voice and acting. She taught me to have courage in my femaleness because this is another thing that's important that I bring up with you, that in the 70s and early 80s, feminism was much needed uh, because women at Stratford their voice was not respected. And the male voice and male arrogance was given a, a much larger space. And it was hard to be uh, a female performer at Stratford.